we have the challenger in the ring. Let's change the music. Wow, this one's starting hot and heavy. The bell hasn't even gone yet. And let me tell you, I was really looking forward to this one. You know, these two men, no strangers to each other, former tag team champions, a very, very successful tag team here in Wrestling Force, now turned bit of rivals, bit of enemies, if you will. Bell going, Mark True taking full advantage of that title shot before the bell that he just gave to the back of, oh wow, to the back of Kieran's head. That was inches away from being over before it had even begun. You know, neither of these men are strangers to each other. A former tag team here in WrestleFall, extremely successful tag team, extremely good friends, but now probably better enemies. Absolutely. Better Unbreakable Mark True, probably the youngest undisputed WrestleFall's champion in history. It's been helped by some true greats over the years, such as, you know, Charlie Rage, the Dominator. I mean, in recent years, of course, I mean, you're looking at the likes of, you know, Bullet and, wow, I'm losing my words at the moment because this just turned into an out and out brawl. Looking at the likes of Voodoo. I mean, we've seen over the last six months, last year even, a different side to Mark Chu, for better or for worse, because it's made him, as you said, the youngest undisputed champion here in WrestleFall's history and the first ever Grand Slam champion here in WrestleFall's history. Even the legendary WWE superstar, one half of the world's greatest tag team, Charlie Haas, once held this WrestleFall's championship. Amazing, amazing prestige behind that belt that Mark True now carries. Many people forget the history with Mark True and WrestleFall's. He's been here a lot. A lot longer than people actually realise. Homegrown talent. I mean, there's nothing better than seeing homegrown talent winning championships. Absolutely, there's no doubt about it. However, it's just the way how he's gone about it. You have to ask yourself, as it means the ways that Mark True's gone about it, the best. And it's hard because part of me thinks, maybe not, you know, there's no honour, there's no respect in the way he's gone about it. The other part of me thinks, He's very successful, as you said, he's been here for a long time, and he's still a very young man. Oh. Take a seat. This could be the end here, before it even really gets started. Yeah, here at Oh, look at this, I mean, my goodness. I mean, the quicker this match finishes, works in the champion's favour. Yeah, you know, as we spoke about earlier, the way he's gone about things, probably not the best, not the most respectful, hitting his former tag partner, blindsided him, hitting the back of the head with that championship Indeed. belt, and taking full advantage of that, and being in control for most of this match so far, if you can even call it a match at this point. No, not really, I mean, the bell has rung, the action has begun inside the ring, but it almost has taken to the outside. A great test for our new young referee. Let's see if he can keep this under control. Right now, he's under a very, good, very difficult job of that. Mark True. Nine, three, nine. He's back inside the ring. A millisecond, a millisecond away from losing that, that heart, that grit. You can't deny from Kieran Lacey. Both these young men have such bright futures ahead of them. Tremendous back body drop from Kieran Lacey, trying to turn the tide here, make this match swing in his favour, because up until now, Mark Chu has been firmly in control. Whatever Kieran has left, I mean, he's, got, he's giving everything he has, that fighting spirit. I mean, the champion's now reading. I just see a blonde fluff of brush there. Oh, it's true, it's true. You know, it's interesting that we see Mark Two, this new attitude change, came for new gear change, just wearing jeans to the ring, not even wrestling gear anymore. It's interesting. Former tag partners still wearing their tag team gear. Yeah, and funny enough, 
But going back to earlier, we were talking about, you know, James Farrell and Danny Haynes. But you know what? James Farrell and Mark True, they had a great contest not so long ago for this very championship. Both in, at the Chelsea Theatre and at the Lopping Hall in Loughton just a few months ago. Shut up, you muckets! to MMA either. No. 2 and 0. Oh, two very dominant wins. And you know, maybe you have to ask yourself, has that played a part in this attitude change? I think so. Has that made him cocky? Has that made him feel untouchable? Yeah, right. Here he comes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Are we going to see a new champion? No, no, no. Mark True manages to get the shoulder up in the nick of time. Very good. You know, I've only seen it before by the legendary Ricochet turned into a down opponent. But Kieran Lacey has his own twist on it and used it to attack a standing opponent. <laughs> Kieran Lacey. You can see him holding that lower back in agony if he yeah. drops on those chairs. Ducks the martial arts kick. But then again, though, Mark True is a martial artist. Let's not forget. Karate background, MMA background. Had a professional fight not so long ago, as a matter of fact. Almost suplexed someone who took head, I believe. He's now targeting that lower back of Kieran Lacey. Very hard, something he's going to give. Stomps him right on the back. How on earth is Kieran going to get up from this? I've got no idea. Going for it. No. Lacey looking for one on his own. No, I'm able to get him up because of that lower back causing the left pain. Into the face. That split second, Mark True trying to mouth off to this crowd. Costing him. Giving Kieran Lacey an edge to yeah. come back in this contest. Oh, right, Mark True! That was impressive, I can't deny that! He is the champion for a reason! Such a creative young man in that ring. It's not enough to put Kieran Lacey away at the moment. Seen him strikes. He's got to be careful. You see, that, you see that mount, that ever made mount almost now. Got to be careful with those forearms. Don't turn into elbow shots. Yeah, got to be very careful here. We've seen it a lot when MMA guys turn into pro wrestling. When they're using the forearm, we've seen their elbows come into play and it's split a lot of guys' heads open. Blood spilled all over canvases. Shut to be very, very careful here because the referee is ultimately in control of this contest and he can very well throw it out if he feels Mark is pushing the rules, bending them rules, breaking them rules. I'm afraid not, my friend. There's a roll up, there's one, there's two. Oh, that was close to a new champion. Dutch the oh, but he caught him. Wow. So such a good roll up, such a basic maneuver, basic pin. But Kira Lacey has had great success with that pin multiple times in the past. He's very good at sticking to his bread and butter and what he knows. We've seen it again there at that roundhouse, which he knows his opponent sometimes have scouted, which is why he's oh. with that amazing heel kick. And again, that amazing dive there to take out his opponent. Mark True didn't know where he was for a moment. Staggering around, he was like a local outside the pub. One, yeah! So you could be thinking brain muscle on the floor. Yeah! Oh, on the canvas! On the apron. A bit of payback for earlier on. Talking about this fair play. The game is even now, Connor. Yeah, both men could be nursing lower back injuries for the next few weeks, maybe a few months. Have to be very careful here, as we said earlier. Two 
two young men with incredibly bright futures. If they put themselves out of action now, the bright futures could be cut short. I mean, you think about it. Mark Trier is at the top of his game right now. He is the undisputed wrestler Force champion, but still at a young age. One day, he's going to reclaim this again. One day, if he was to ever... He might hang on for it for another 10, 20 years. You never know. It's been done before in British wrestling. And he's going to look back on this one day and he's going to go, my goodness... Oh, wait, oh, wait a minute, did you see that? Great, great counter from the champion. Great counter. Incredible. Great counter. Kira lays it down to the well one so many times with that dive, that flip over the top rope. Mark Chu having a scouted now. Turning him into an MMA back guard. Kind of minus compromising positions. Once you have that back, and you can even get that choke in. Nine times out of ten, it's all over. One elbow is all it took to almost knock out the champion, but I have to say, great respect to Mark Trude there. He saw that opportunity. He counted moments away from Kieran tapping out in the centre of the ring, and Mark Trude still hanging on to the gold and the silver for that matter. It's the international championship. It's the heavyweight championship. It's the undisputed championship. True quickly with the shoulder up again. Oh. We're seeing a true classic here. No, no pun intended. You know, I was looking forward to this all night and it's exceeded my expectations. I can imagine. And I can believe that we're nowhere near done. <laughs> Moonsault for a up one. It's all over. No wasted motion there. Mark True, Meteor, using that space to follow up that picture perfect Moonsault and retain that championship.